Hello, boys and girls. Um, God, it's been ages since I did a fucking LP. Um, yeah, hold on a sec. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm fucking... Oh, no, that's not nearly high enough. Yeah, now my voice will forcefully and fiercefully overpower this, this fucking game here. Fuck games. You guys don't want to see games. I could just fucking show my wallpaper and just fucking blather on. In fact... Look at this fucking work of art. Look at that fucking bodacious fucking goddess. There you go. Look at that shit. Yes. Alright, so, welcome to Let's Play, uh, Gynosaurs with fucking amazing thighs. Look how creamy those fucking thighs are. Come on. Work with me here. Alright, um... Whoopam! Fucking Neo Geo SNK. SNK, um, they should rename themselves to RIP, uh, the way they're doing. <sighs> 2D forever. Alright, um, we're playing Metal Slug 2. I don't know why. Um, oh my god, look at this shit. Oh, oh. Alright, um, this is probably my least favorite Metal Slug. Um, actually, that's a lie. Five was terrible, and you fought Satan for some reason. Um, the only good thing about this game is the character artwork. Now... Who should we pick? Should we pick Theo? Yeah, I think we'll pick Theo, because she's so... She's so Fujoshi, and everyone loves... No, fuck that. <sighs> Alright, here we go. Um, I'm probably not going to do as well at this as I did playing uh, Metal Slug 1. Because Metal Slug 1 is a game that I played to fucking death, seriously. Um, I like to think I'm pretty reasonably good at it. Um, Metal Slug um, 3 is a game that is stupidly and uh, monstrously unfair and just kills you because it feels like it really and has no other um... it has no other actual reason for killing you other than that it feels like being a horrible unfair game. I mean I love I love Metal Slug 3 I think it's great but um... I think that the creative team that worked on it were a bunch of fucking jackasses who were more interested in making a pile of fucking explosions than an actually balanced and fair game. Maybe that's unfair. I don't know. I don't think it is. I think it's pretty reasonable because um, stuff like the uh, the final boss in particular with shit like you having to, you have to jump to get over the fucking rings that he spits out, but when you jump, um, that pretty much means that you're pretty much putting your life in the hands of random chance and just hoping, ah, if this was Metal Slug 4, I could fucking get in that thing, um, but you're pretty much putting your life in the hands of random chance when you're that close to the top of the screen, and, um, there's just a lot of times in Metal Slug 3 where I feel like I have no control over whether or not my character lives or dies. In Metal Slug 1, if you die, it's your fault. It's your fucking fault, plain and simple. That's all there is to it. And if you die, you just gotta fucking up your game. I don't get that feeling with pretty much anything after uh, 1, 2, and X. Um, possibly 4, now that I think about it. 4 actually, um, felt pretty good. Um, but it didn't have Airy. Um, it had Nadia. Nadia was great. I fucking love Nadia. I guess 4 just felt a bit uninspired, um, compared to the other Metal Slug games. See, I've already fucking died. Um, this ain't gonna go well. This, uh, this is gonna have me dying a lot. Probably. 
I like the uh, theme they set up with that character. He's sort of a comedy relief kind of guy. I think he's uh, no prisoner. Uh -huh. I was doing so well. Wow, 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 wow. Credits. Oh, um, guess I should start a new video. Wow. Um, okay. Uh, we'll be back with episode two of Let's Play Metal Slug 2. I'm your host, Fried Octopus. Thanks for watching.